हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एंजेम्स इन सीनियर इंटरमीडिएट बॉटनी सो इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एंजेम्स सो इन दैट एंजेम्स आर नथिंग बट प्रोटीन्स ऑल एंजेम्स आर प्रोटीन्स ऑल एंजेम्स आर प्रोटीन्स ईच एंड एवरी एंजेम इट कॉन्टेन्स एक्टिवेशन साइट्स इट इट कॉन्टेन्स एक्टिवेशन साइट्स विच आर सिमिलर टू substrate structure substrate structure so the enzymes are involved in increase of rate of reaction but enzymes cannot involve any reactions enzymes cannot involve any reactions but they speed up the rate of reaction enzymes speed up the rate of reaction so today we are discussed about nature of enzyme action nature of enzyme action how enzymes are Uh, speed up the rate of reaction, right? So each enzyme contains binding sites. Binding sites are nothing but activation sites. Those are nothing but activation sites. Each enzyme, so enzyme substrate complex is formed. So when enzyme binds, combines with the substrate, enzyme substrate complex is formed. That is short lived. After some time. enzymes leaves the products so finally at that time ep complex is formed and finally products are released from the substrate so there is no change in the structure of enzyme no change in the structure of enzyme as it is the enzyme released from that complex only substrate structure are changed substrates convert into products Pro converts into products so equation is e plus yes e means enzyme substrate so then enzyme substrate complex is formed that is short lived that is short lived then here substrate in the substrate chemical bonds are released then products are formed so few minutes enzyme product complex is present after that enzyme releases the products as it is the enzyme release comes out from that uh, substrate or products uh, from that reaction there is no change in the structure of enzymes so enzymes cannot involve any reactions those are speed up the rate of reactions they speed up the rate of reactions they cannot involved in any reactions right emily fisher explained this nature of enzyme action based on lock and key hypothesis he proposed a theory that is lock and key hypothesis so according emily fisher each lock it contains it is a substrate and this is one is a key key is nothing but it is a, a type of enzyme key contains this type of levers so enzyme also contains activation sites so these are activation sites if the activation sites are similar to the structure of the substrate then it fit into the substrate then e yes a complex is formed lock and key complex is formed so after that when we rotate this key then products are separated key or enzyme is released as it is there is no change in the structure of enzyme structure of enzyme so here one key act on only one lock so as it is the one enzyme act on only one substrate one enzyme act on only one substrate right so that is explained by emily fisher according emily fisher each enzyme contains activation sites which are similar to the structure of the substrate so one enzyme act on only one substrate one enzyme act on only one substrate so few minutes enzyme substrate complex is formed that is short lived after that after that products are released from the substrate there is no change in the structure of enzyme so enzymes are involved in the chemical reactions but the the speed of the rate of reactions the speed of the rate of reactions this react this enzyme action also 
explain why daniel e coachland daniel e coachland throw induced fit hypothesis induced fit hypothesis right so here nm activation sites fits into the uh, substrate such structures right they induced they induced to release the chemical bonds so substrate induces the nm to release chemical bonds which are present in its structure then nm breaks the bonds which are present in the substrate then products are formed that is explained by daniel e coachland through induced fit hypothesis induced fit hypothesis according to this firstly substrates binds to activation sites of enzyme substrate binds to activation sites of enzyme then what will be happen s plus e that is enzyme substrate complex is formed enzyme substrate complex is formed so first substrates binds to the activation sites of the enzyme fitting into the activate site they fit into the active site so here key fit into the active sites of the substrate right the substrate induces the enzyme it induces the enzyme to break the chemical bonds which are present in its structure right so induces the enzyme to alter its shape by fitting more tightly around the substrate they induce they induce substrate induces the, the enzyme to alter its shape right so active sites of the enzyme what will be happen breaks the chemical bonds of the substrate they break the chemical bonds of the substrate then enzyme product complex is formed ep complex that is here ep complex it is a, a short it is also a short lived structure enzyme product complex is formed right the enzyme releases the products of the reaction enzyme releases the products of the reaction then enzyme is ready to bind another substrate molecule because there is no change in the structure of enzyme in that chemical reaction the speed of the rate of reaction the speed of the rate of reaction so this is about nature of enzyme action each enzyme contains activation sites which are similar to the the structure of the substrate then one enzyme act on only one substrate only one substrate like uh, uh, lock and key it is explained by emily fisher through lock and key hypothesis it is also explained by daniel e coachland through induced fit hypothesis so according to their uh, theories each enzyme contains activation sites which are similar to the structure of the substrate one enzyme act on only one substrate only one substrate right so in this structure initially substrate binds to the activation sites of the enzyme then es complex is formed es complex is formed it is also a short lived then then substrate induces the enzyme to alter its shapes by breaking breaks the chemical bonds which are present in its structure which are present in its structure then ep complex is formed enzyme product complex is formed so after then after that enzyme releases from the products and then products are released enzyme now ready to binds another substrate molecule another substrate molecule this is the nature of enzyme action nature of enzyme action